Hi everyone, welcome to another Procreate tutorial. This is the drawing that we will be completing in today's video. If you are new here, I post mainly Procreate tutorials, so if that is something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise, the main thing that you will need before we get started is the color palette, which I have linked in the description below. It's totally free to download. Just open the link and then open that file in Procreate and you'll have all the colors that we're using for today's drawing. So take a moment to go grab that and then come back and we will get started. Okay, to get started, our canvas dimensions are 16 inches by 20 inches at 240 dpi, and our color profile is the Display P3, which is the generic RGB color profile. I use 16 by 20 almost as if it were a poster size that you would get printed, so that is why I chose those dimensions for this particular drawing. Also, this is what the color palette looks like. We have some colors for the mountains, the grass and the trees, and then the last colors are for the camper on the third row there. So to get started, we're going to first grab this light blue color, the very first color on the first row, and drag that on the entire screen on layer one. Next, we are going to add a layer on top of that layer, and then we are going to actually draw the grass first. So we are going to go back into our color palette and select this first green color on the second row, the darker green, and go into our brushes and select the hard airbrush. I made a duplicate of the original hard airbrush and turned the streamline up to about 70%. That's the brush that I like to use. So this is how you can make a duplicate of the brush and then you can click on it to adjust the settings. So I have the size at about 10 to 15 percent and the first thing we are going to do is draw a line across the canvas. Hold it down to make the line straight and then touch your finger on the screen to make it perfectly horizontal. We want it about a third of the way up the canvas. Next, grab the eraser and use that same hard airbrush at about 25 percent and we are just going to erase some little cutouts in the line that we just drew. Make some of them smaller, some of them bigger. This is just so that we can draw some grass details on the main line here. So do that all the way across and then grab your brush again and for each little cutout we're just going to draw some little grass poofs sticking up. So just take your time to do this all the way across. Make sure that you connect the line on each side. We'll have some be like two poofs, three poofs, a single poof sometimes. Okay, that completes the little line back here. So now we are gonna go back into our layers menu and we are gonna turn this layer into a reference layer so that we can fill around it. So click on the layer, click reference. And then what this does is it allows us to use this outline as like a filling point. So add a new layer below that layer, grab this lighter green on the color palette and then drag and drop it below the line. We're going to go back to that first layer with the dark green that we used and go back to the dark green color and we're just going to draw some more grass poofs all around the grass now to make this whole thing look more like grass.
Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're going to go back into our layers menu. We're going to turn off the light green grass part so that we can see behind it and then add a new layer underneath it. So between the light blue layer and the light green layer, grab the dark brown from this color palette on the first row. And using the same brush that we've been using, we're going to start drawing our mountain. So just draw a quick triangular shape and then let it snap at the end. So hold your pen down and then adjust it a little if needed to make it a little wider. And then we're going to draw a line across the bottom to connect it below the grass layer so that it will be hidden. Um, we need to turn this layer off as a reference. So go back into your layers menu and turn it off. Make sure that you're on the mountain layer and then fill that in. And then just draw another mountain on the right side and then draw below it to connect it and fill that in as well. So next we're gonna draw two more mountains in front of these. So go into the layers palette, layers menu, add a new layer on top of this one, go into the color palette and select the lighter brown color, the third one on the first row and do the same thing in between the two mountains in the back. We're gonna make two more mountains in the front with one more in the middle and then the other one we'll make kind of going off the left side of the screen here. Again, connect the shapes at the bottom and then fill them in. And I guess we'll kind of show that one is also on the other side of this one here. So now we have our mountains laid out in the background. Now we're going to add some shadows to the mountains. So in the layers menu, find the dark brown mountains, add a new layer above it, and then click the N mark next to the check mark and drag that up to multiply. Go into the color palette and select this last color on the first row. And using the same brush, we are going to start at the top of the left mountain here and draw a squiggly line down the front of it and then connect the shape outside the mountain We'll eventually get rid of that, so it's okay. It looks kind of funny right now. Do the same thing on this other one. Again, connect it and fill it in. And then now we are going to click on the layers menu, click on the layer that we just created and click clipping mask. So that will help get rid of the weird shapes outside the mountains that we don't want to see. Add a new layer on top of the light brown mountain now and again change it to multiply. And we are going to do a similar thing here. Since these ones are in front, we are going to do the same thing here, but then draw a straight line down the right side of the mountain, following that line as closely as you can. And then make sure the shape is connected and fill it in but we do want that straight line going down the right side since you can see it where that other mountain connects to it on the right so fill that in and then the mountain on the right that we can barely see a chunk of won't need a shadow but this one on the left will so we'll just kind of pretend that it came from outside the canvas so draw a little squiggly line and then again draw a straight line as close as you can to that edge of the mountain, make it perfectly straight and then connect the shape and fill it in. Again, we will click on the layers menu, click on this layer we just created, it's on multiply, but then we need to click on clipping mask so that it clips to the light brown mountains. Turn that light green layer back on and now you'll see most of the background complete. So next we are gonna add the trees. So we are going to do this above the mountains, but below the grass. So find that last layer we just made, add a new layer above it. So right below the light green layer, go into the colors palette and select this first brown layer on the second row. Turn the size of the brush up to about 40. And we're just gonna draw some perfectly straight lines. So draw a line, hold your finger down on the screen to make it perfectly vertical and then draw another one next to it and then fill it in, in between. So these are gonna be our trees. So we're gonna make about five of these going across, some of them thinner, some of them thicker. So take your time to do this and just kind of space them out differently. But they're very easy to fill in because make your line go all the way from the top of the screen all the way through the bottom of the screen and then you can easily just fill it in right in between them. 
I'm gonna use the selection tool here and move it to the left a little bit. I want a little bit more room on the right side to make another small tree. Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna add some tree branches to them. So we'll stay on the layer that we're on and we're just gonna use the pen tool and draw a branch coming off of the first tree here and we are gonna have it snap to a certain angle so that we can make them all the same angle. So touch your finger on the screen, find an angle that you like and then keep doing that, touching your finger to the screen and try to match that same angle for every branch that you draw. Some of them will have stop in between the trees but then some of them like this one will go off the screen and then we'll move on to this next tree here and it'll go again sometimes we'll stop in between where you can see the end of the branch but then sometimes like this one will draw and it'll it'll just kind of run into this tree next to it so just keep doing this for all your trees just a few sporadic branches on all of them Okay, after that, we are gonna add some more details to our trees, some little bark lines. So go into your layers menu, add a new layer on top of the one we just created, click on it and click clipping mask. Go into the color palette and select the second brown color on the second row, the lighter one. And we are gonna use the same brush, but turn it down to about 15%. And we are just gonna draw some perfectly vertical lines on this layer. So using the pen tool, just draw an up and down line, hold your finger on the screen to make it perfectly vertical. And we're just gonna draw a few little ones of these all over each of the tree branches, or sorry, each of the tree trunks I meant. To make them look more natural, we're gonna make some of them longer, some of them shorter, some of them closer together than others. You know, some on the left side, some on the right side, some more in the middle. Just really vary them as you go.
Okay, now that that is done, we are gonna move on to drawing the main part of the picture, the camper. So go into your layers menu, add a new layer on top of everything, all the grass included, and go into the color palette and select this very first color on the last row. It's a bright white. And we are going to first draw just a straight horizontal line on this layer to make the bottom part of our camper. So hold down your pen at the end, click on the screen to make it perfectly horizontal. And then we're gonna draw a shape above this, a rounded shape. And then hold down your pen at the end and it'll make it a curved line. It, we don't want it to be a perfect circle. It might take you a couple times to get a good shape that you like, but I kind of like it where it's bigger on the right side, smaller on the left side and then we want it to connect to our line on the bottom on each side. Go ahead and click that edit at the top if you want to move some parts of your shape around to make it how you like it. So this is going to be about halfway down on your grass and mostly on the left side because on the right side we are going to draw the little tow part that hooks onto, you know, the back of a truck or trailer. So fill in that shape with the white when you have a good shape that you like. Mine is actually a little too big. I need some more room. So I'm going to click the arrow button and adjust the size down just a little bit and move it over to the left some more so I have more room for the other pieces. So Next, we're going to grab this red color, the second one on the color palette. Click on the layer, the white layer, and click Alpha Lock. And draw a straight line, horizontal line, all the way across in the middle. Another one below it a little bit. And again, touch your finger to make them perfectly horizontal lines. And then we are going to fill in that little part of the shape in the middle with the red. And then go back to your color palette, select this third color, the light blue, and drag that below the red. And so again, that'll fill in just the shape that we created. So now we have the white, the red, and the light blue for our camper. Next, we're going to add some details to the camper. So add a new layer on top of that layer we just created. Click on the N and drag it up to multiply. So this is a multiply layer. Go back into the color palette and select this gray color, the last color on the first row that we used for the shadows on the mountain. And we are going to draw some little stripes on our camper here, some little lines to give it some texture. Click on the gear icon, turn on drawing guide, and then click edit drawing guide. And we are gonna use this 2D grid. We wanna click this to turn on drawing assist at the bottom right here. And then we are gonna change the grid size, drag it up until you have about eight, nine, 10 lines across the camper whatever you think looks best. So yeah, we have about nine or 10 here and click done. Make sure you can see the lines. And then we, on that layer, we are just gonna draw some lines with each of the grid lines that we have laid out on our camper. And with this drawing assist turned on, it makes it easy to draw them perfectly straight. It just kind of guides your pen along that line there. So just do this all the way down, following the grid lines that you have laid out. When you have them all done, click on the layer menu and then click on the layer and click clipping mask so that it'll get rid of the excess that were outside of the shape. And then click on the gear icon again and then turn the drawing guide off so that we don't have to look at that anymore. Add a new layer on top of the one that we just created. Click it and click clipping mask. Go into the color palette and select this fourth color on the last row, this first gray color that we have. And we are going to draw the door of the camper. So click the selection tool, have it set to rectangle and have it be add and then have color fill turned on. And then we are going to draw a little rectangle in the front of the camper, a little off to the right. and that goes about uh, right above the red, through the red into the white a little bit. This will be our door. And then we are going to, on that same layer, grab the white color again, 
to do the same thing, the rectangle selection color fill tool, tool, and then just draw a little square across the top of the door, and then that will automatically fill with white. So that's kind of our window. Again, same layer, grab the gray again and use your brush. We're gonna draw a vertical line and then a horizontal line through the window. So draw a line, hold it down, click your finger on the screen to make it perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal so that we just added some window panes to our window. Now grab this darkest color on the last row here, this really dark gray color, and draw a little doorknob, so a little circle on the door. Make it a perfect circle by holding your finger down and then fill that in. So that's all on that same layer, and that's our entire door. Add a new layer on top of that, turn it into a clipping mask. We're still clipping onto this main camper shape. On the color palette, grab this medium gray, the fifth one on the last row, and we are going to drag a horizontal line across the very, very bottom of the camper as a little trim piece. And then we do need to connect the shape, so just kind of, you know, invisibly connect this shape somehow and then fill it in. Okay, next we are going to add a wheel to the back left side of the camper here. So add a new layer on top of the one we just created and make sure it's not a clipping mask and then go into the color palette and select this darkest gray color, the last one on the last row. And then we are going to make a circle. Touch your finger on the screen to make it a perfect circle and then fill it in and this will just be on the back of the camper. Stay on that same layer and go into the color palette and select the white, the very first color on the last row. Make a circle inside that one. Click on the edit shape at the top to try to center it as best as you can. Maybe adjust the size a little, but we want the black part that we created to be pretty thick. And then fill that in as well. Again, same layer. Grab this second to last color in the last row the medium gray that we use for the trim and we're going to draw another circle inside that white circle we want it to be pretty thick so there's a smaller amount of white showing and again center it the best that you can and then fill that in as well okay next we are going to make the little tow hitch part of the trailer in the front of it so go back to the layers menu, find the grass shape that we drew on and add a new layer on top of that. So it's going to be below our camper layer. Go into the color palette and select the fourth gray color on the last row, the lightest gray. And we're gonna use the selection tool again, rectangle and fill, make sure that's turned on. And we're just gonna draw a small skinny rectangle sticking out of the front of our camper like this about a third of the way up fourth of the way up from the camper edge so while we have that same tool selected draw another rectangle going up and down with a little bit left in the front of the little tow hitch part that we made so it looks kind of like a t with there being more room on the left side but still a little room on the right side next while we are still on that same layer, turn it, click it, and click alpha lock, and then go into the color palette and select this fifth gray on the last row, and draw a, ver or a horizontal line across the bottom of the top T part, the horizontal part, and just kind of drag it so it looks like a little shadow underneath the crossbar. Then we are going to go back into the layers menu, add a new layer underneath the layer that we just made, go into the color palette, select the last color on the last row, and we're going to draw a little circle behind this and again touch your finger on the screen to make it a perfect circle, but we just want a little circle sticking up. This is like our little ball for the hitch and fill that in. Awesome. So that is our camper mainly done. The last thing we need to do is add a shadow. So let's go on to this grass layer that we drew on with like the grass poofs, add a new layer. So a layer underneath the ball that we just drew. Click on the end, drag it up to multiply, and then click on the selection tool again. And instead of rectangle, we're gonna change it to ellipse and then leave color fill turned on. Go to the color palette and select this 
last color in the first row that we used for the shadows on our mountains and we are going to draw a little oval underneath our camper here to give it a shadow we're going to drag it up just a little bit so it's really underneath our camper here make it a little bit bigger just make it look correct And then go into the layer, click on the M, and then drag the opacity down to about 70%. And that is the shadow, and that completes our drawing today. So that is it. I hope you had fun. If you did, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorials from me, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to share your post on Instagram, please do so and tag me so that I can see how it turned out. While you're there, go ahead and give me a follow so that you can see what I'm working on next. Thanks so much for watching. Yay!